Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann. As you all know by now, I live in a dorm. I've been living in this dorm since uh, last year and I'm going to be here for another year while I finish up my master's in comparative literature. And the dorm has given me a bunk bed. I'm at the bottom bunk and they have this ordinary foam mattress on top of it. It's just a four inch foam mattress that has a zippered nylon covering. Um, it's not very new, but it's okay. And the brand is Eurotex. It's a good local brand. Um, it lasts a long time. That's why a lot of homes have it. And this dorm has it in all of its beds as well. It's okay. It's an okay mattress, but I, I need my beds to do a little bit more for me. So this is what I have done to make it more comfortable. I got the Senso Memory Foam Mattress Topper. It's also from Eurotex, as you can see there, because Eurotex is really a good brand for uh, bed mattresses. And this one is from their Memory Foam line. I have the 36 by 75 um, bed. It's a standard twin. And this, the memory foam mattress has these garters on the corners that go under the corners of your base mattress. And this is how it looks like. I think the foam mattress is about an inch thick or a little bit more, about an inch and a half or something. I forget. But it's kind of pricey. It's uh, Memory foam is usually expensive. But I think it's very much worth it because I, I felt the difference it made on my back right away. It has this very soft microfiber covering that is hypoallergenic. And I really, really like it. I think I made the right decision in making that uh, expensive purchase. And the third layer on my mattress is this quilted microfiber um, mattress topper. The brand is called Canadian and it is um, half as expensive as the memory foam mattress topper. And I actually purchased this mattress topper before the memory foam mattress topper. I was hoping that I wouldn't need the memory foam anymore, but I found out that it wasn't enough for me. So I ended up purchasing the memory foam mattress topper eventually. But I like that I have both. Now here is the mattress, all three layers of it when viewed from the side. Here we have the four inch Eurotex foam mattress and on top of it is the 1.5 inch or a little bit thicker memory foam mattress topper and then over everything and wrapping everything like a fitted sheet is the quilted uh, mattress topper from Canadian. And I like that the mattress topper actually acts or looks like a fitted sheet so that everything is enclosed and nothing really protrudes from the ends. And it's kind of a clean look even before I put in the fitted sheet. And now it's time for the fitted sheet. I am using this sage green fitted sheet. It's made of microfiber cloth. It's supposed to be hypoallergenic and it doesn't have a thread count. Microfibers, I was told, are not governed by thread count unlike the cotton sheets that we can identify if they have like 700 count or, or if they're a thousand count um, cotton. Um, microfiber cloths don't follow those standards. Next we have the blankets. I use two different layers of blankets, one on top of the other, and the lower layer is this dark brown fleece blanket. I like it because it's very, very soft and very, very warm. I decided to use blankets instead of a comforter because um, the, the bunk is pushed against the wall. It's actually bolted against the wall, so it would be difficult for me to uh, manage the bulky form of the comforter towards those, towards the, the side, the inner side of the bunk bed and as, especially the corners, it will be difficult to manage the comforter uh, in that kind of 
bed configuration. So I decided to use blankets instead because they're softer, more uh, easy to fold under itself. And I'm using two different um, layers of blankets because we turn on the air conditioning in the dorm at night and we keep it at about 21 or 22 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not very, very cold, but it's just the right temperature so that we don't sweat while we're asleep. But it's also not the usual, it's not room temperature. It's a little bit colder than that. And the second layer of blanket that I am using is this very, I, I think this is very nice. This is a sage green microfiber blanket. And I like that it matches my fitted sheet to a certain extent, but not exactly. Together, these two different blankets give me just the right amount of warmth and softness at night when I am asleep. And probably the only hardest part about making this bed or changing the bed linens of this bed is getting the, the, getting the fabric or the sheet into the inner side of the bunk mattress and also into the bottom, actually in that one corner at the bottom of the bed and this is how I do it. I just lift the entire corner of the mattress so that I can fold the blankets over. This is also how I did it with a fitted sheet and with the um, quilted mattress topper. And that is me lifting the entire bottom of the mattress so I can tuck in the two blankets underneath. And the reason why I do this every time I change my bed linens is so that I won't have to deal with it every single day that I make up my bed when I get out of it. So I when I get when I get out of bed every morning, all I have to deal with is the outer side and corners of the sheet, not the inner corner anymore. Then I just fold the top edges of the or the loose um, ends of the blanket over so that I can have something to slip into at night and then I just flatten it down and everything looks good. I, I like that the chocolate brown ended up matching the sage green of the bed and here is how the bed looks like from the side. I tuck in the loose ends of the blankets underneath the mattress and you can see the textures of my blankets there they are very very nice and the microfiber fitted sheet is very feels very good on the skin also i really like this color i find it to be very very relaxing it's not neon i prefer solid colors for my bed linens i don't really like the printed anymore although i used to have a lot of those i find that the older I get, the more I gravitate towards solid colors. And one thing that I have forgotten to put underneath my, my blankets is this. It's an electric leg massager and it warms up. Those are two rotating thingies that turn red and they get warm. So they relieve my leg tiredness sometimes. I place them underneath the blankets and I can, I can do that because this is very, very safe. It automatically, it comes with this wire that you can um, take apart because it also has an attachment for a car charger. But right now I have the wall charger um, attached to it. it. And I just place the wire under the blankets and thread the rest of the wire through to the end of the bed where my plug hub is. And that's where I place my lower leg on bed and then I just put it under the blankets and then I put the blankets over my legs and that's how it looks like when it's under the blanket. It looks like there's an animal that's trapped in there, <laughs> but it's not. It's really just my automatic leg massager and I like that I'm able to do that. This is very safe to do because the massager automatically turns itself off after 20 minutes. So even if I fall asleep with it on and while it's under the covers, it's okay because it turns itself off after 20 minutes. And now let's move on to the pillows. I have this memory foam pillow. This is by Akemi. Let's put it under the light so I can read it. 
It's the Akemi Autograph uh, Thermosensible Memory Pillow. And it's also a contour pillow, as you can see from the side. It has that dip in the middle, and that end is lower than this end. And if you are a side sleeper, you put your neck on the higher end. And if you are a back sleeper, you put your head or your neck over that lower end. And I am a side sleeper, which is very bad for the skin. I know wrinkles and all that. But I cannot really train myself to lie on my back the whole night. Sometimes I start out on my back and then I ended up, ended up, I end up on my side <laughs> the whole time. So um, because I put that pillow with the higher part, uh, the higher end for my neck, I just put in the pillowcase in such a way that the opening would be facing the walls. Ever since I used this pillow, I have been getting less neck pain. I actually don't have any neck pain anymore, which turns out was caused by poor sleeping positions. So I'm glad that it was solved by the memory foam contour pillow. And next we have just two of these ordinary full-size pillows. I have these ones from Kingston. It's called the Perfect Sleep Supreme Pillow. And they're just covered by this um, patterned white on white um, covering. And here we have all of the three pillows on the bed that has just been made. We have some of the little things that are not really completely part of the bed, but make the bed more user friendly, so to speak. I have this plastic bin in which I put some of the things that I need to reach for when I'm already in bed so I won't have to uh, get up. Um, this is the Midori Traveler's Notebook that I have. I just have a prayer book on there and I have a video about this which I will link down below. I don't pray this anymore but I have already gotten used to the habit of sleeping beside a, paper, a prayer book. So I have this Midori Traveler's Notebook on that bin and I also have um, a sleep mask. Now I don't really use this anymore ever since I started using the blackout curtains around my dorm and I have a video up about it too that I will link down below but I still have it on there just in case. And then the next item in this bin would be uh, it's this tiny tiny book it's called physics in minutes and it has about 200 different concepts of physics that are condensed into just one spread per concept. And I flip through this book whenever I cannot sleep, I'm suffering from anxiety because I find comfort in the fact that even if everything in life is falling apart, the rules of physics always hold. So I, there's one thing constant in the world and that's physics. And next I just have this hand mirror. Um, that I use and then I have hand lotion it's Vaseline intensive care deep restore it's a body lotion but I use it for my hands and for my knees before I go to sleep and then I have another um, lotion this is this one is a uh, body butter from the body shop I also use it sometimes for my hands and then I have two different lip treatments. The, this one is from Tony Moly. It's almost um, empty, but I still have it. It's the snail lip treatment. And then I have this classic Carmex that I have also in my bag and in my um, makeup tray. And then I have hand sanitizer, uh, which I also have in my bag and in my office and, and every, everywhere else. And this is the hard case. Uh, which came with my current eyeglasses. It's Swarovski and it also has its own cleaning cloth for the lenses and I just keep it here in this small bin because whenever I go to sleep I fold in my glasses and put it inside the case. And then I have these, these, these are just ordinary earphones and I have that iPhone 7 dongle on it. I use this whenever I need to listen to rain sounds when I'm asleep when um, my roommates are still um, awake. And 
I just put it there on the on that part of my bed so that I can reach for it every time I need something. And I also put my iPhone in there when it's charging. This is the cable that I use for it and I just drape the cable over the headboard and then when the iPhone is charging, I just put it in that bin as well. Another thing that makes my dorm bed more user-friendly is this clip lamp that I use whenever I am reading an actual a physical book in bed or when I'm reading a photocopy or I'm writing in my planner and I don't want to do it in bed so that is a very handy thing to have and then I also place this this is a dock for charging my Apple Watch and I have a video review of this item in my YouTube channel and I'll link it down below it just makes it easier for me to reach out and uh, turn off the alarm before getting up rather than having to scramble out of bed to turn off the alarm. I prefer turning off the alarm before getting out of bed. It's just a better way to wake up. And then I have this, uh, I have these blackout curtains around my bed and I also have a video of this in my YouTube channel and I will link it down below. And altogether these elements are sort of my basic essentials for the bed. And I really like my bed. It's very, very comfortable. One last thing, though, that I have on my bed, it's not really bed-related, but this is Jawide's shirt that he was wearing before he left, on the, on, the day that, on the day that he left for Qatar. And I asked him to take it off and leave it with me, and I haven't washed it since. He left in January of 2017. <laughs> I just keep it in my bed, and I just place it over my pillow. Uh, the pillow that goes on my side when I'm asleep. I just put this shirt over it, but when the bed is made, I just put it right over there. And that is it. That is how I made my dorm bed much more comfortable. And I think I made the right decisions in picking out all of these items for my bed because um, I find that I sleep so much more comfortably after all of these were complete. I hope I was able to give you some tips and ideas on how to make your own bed much more comfortable, especially if you're living in a dorm, because um, we don't really have to make do with everything that's been given to us. Sometimes we can find ways to make things better. And that is my video for today. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.